Nicola Sturgeon dramatically quit as SNP leader today amid a meltdown over her bid to loosen gender identity rules and fading prospects of splitting the UK. The First Minister appeared close to tears as she confirmed her bombshell departure in an emotional speech at her official residence Bude House in Edinburgh. She said her job was the best in the world and she was very proud of what she had achieved. But she admitted, part of serving well is to know when the time is right to make way for someone else, and when the time comes to have the courage to sow. In my head and in my heart I know that time is now, that it is right for me, my party and the country. Miss Sturgeon insisted her decision came from duty and was not linked to short-term issues. She said she had been wrestling. With whether, carrying on, was right for her in Scotland. She said leading, and in particular dealing with COVID, takes its toll on you and those around you, adding that she could battle on but it would not be the best thing. A funeral for long-term independence campaigner Alan Angus yesterday had a clarifying effect, she admitted. I'm looking forward to new opportunities, new challenges. The shock announcement, reminiscent of New Zealand PM Jacinda Ardern's recent resignation, followed the torrid row over her abortive attempt to overhaul trans rights, which was blocked by Westminster. Support for independence has also been waning, and there was deep unrest in nationalist circles about her plan of making the next general election a de facto referendum after the Supreme Court prevented her from holding one without UK ministers' approval. The news, which blindsided even her SNP allies just weeks after she told the BBC there was plenty in the tank, draws a line under eight years as first minister, since she replaced one-time mentor and now sworn enemy Alex Salmond in 2014. She is expected to continue in the role until a new SNP leader is elected, and stressed she will stay on as an MSP. Polls have suggested the public backs front bencher Kate Forbes taking over, but none of the potential successors have anything like the same public profile. Mr. Salmond did not waste any time putting the boot in, saying that although Ms. Sturgeon was a first-rate political communicator, she was leaving the independence campaign with no clear strategy and the SNP with no obvious successor. Rishi Sunak, who has taken a softer approach to Ms. Sturgeon than Boris Johnson and Liz Truss, said, My thanks go to at Nicola Sturgeon for her long-standing service. I wish her all the best for her next steps. Scottish Secretary Alistair Jack described Ms. Sturgeon as a formidable politician, but urged the next SNP leader to drop the divisive obsession with independence. However, there are fears Ms. Sturgeon's exit might be a major blow for Mr. Sunak's hopes of winning the next election. One Tory source told Mail Online Keir Starmer is becoming a lucky general. It's not hard to see how Labour take 10 or 15 seats off against a squabbling SNP and collapsing Conservatives as the only coherent unionist force, they said. Another Tory aide said, who knew the trans issue would break her.